Thinking about moving to Daytona Beach? Well, today we're going to look at a suburb of Daytona, Port Orange. We're going to look at a few pros and cons, some real estate, some restaurants, and some fun things to do. So stick around. That all happens right now. Hey, if this is the first time to the channel, go ahead, hit subscribe and the bell so you never miss a thing about living in Daytona Beach. And hey, are you moving in nine days or nine months? That is fantastic. We talk to people like you all the time. So call, text, email, or even set up a Zoom video call because we want to make your move memorable. Huge bonus to living down here in Port Orange is um, multiple access points. This one down here on Dunlawton Bridge and Dunlawton Avenue, right next to the Halifax River. You can see we have like a boat launch back here, large boats. Just down the way here, you have a smaller boat launch for kayaks. Then behind me, behind the bridge, or underneath the bridge, is tons of fishing. There's a pier that's underneath there, fishing dock, all the fishing you could ever want to do underneath the, the, underneath the bridge right there. And of course, down the way by the kayak launch, also a a pier and a fishing dock that you can you can fish off of so it's one of the bonuses of living here in port orange tons of areas right here next to the halifax river just a great spot to use almost all year round well yeah you can use it all year round because um, the weather again in in florida is fantastic Got another great spot right here at the right at the edge of Port Orange. Here is Riverwalk Park. You've got a place to actually you can rent uh, stand up paddle boards, kayaks, and sailboats right here. Also, a great playground for the kids. You have it right here, right next to the Halifax River. Just gorgeous. You can probably see Fish's Restaurant behind me as well, right off the riverway right here. Place you got a small marina for your boat. I mean, talk about the perfect spot. So if you're looking for another bonus feature to the Port Orange area, definitely check out Riverwalk Park. Now one thing that may be a major detractor to the Port Orange area is you're gonna be dealing with tons of traffic. I'm down here on Dunlawton Avenue and Nova Road, which is Nova Road runs, runs north to south, Dunlawton Avenue runs east to west. You just have to deal with traffic just because we have multiple spots of shopping. Shopping complexes almost on every single corner in this area right here. That's the one thing about, about Port Orange. You're gonna have a lot of shopping, but along with that, you're gonna have a lot of traffic. And sometimes some of these lights, and it's gonna take you a few minutes to get through. So just be aware of that. If you're commuting to work back and forth, this is one of those hot spots that uh, can slow you down a little bit. Not that big of a deal. The lights work pretty good around here, but again, one of those things to be aware of, traffic in here can be a little horrendous. So if you're trying to get to the beach, Dunlawton is not the spot to go. Nova travels pretty good. Once you get past the Dunlawton interchange right here, Nova Road goes pretty fast. In fact, you typically average about 50 miles per hour. So this is gonna be one of those cons to the Port Orange area is that you're gonna have a lot of heavy traffic, but of course, 
The bonus side of that is there's going to be a lot of shopping and a lot of restaurants. So again, what's so great about Port Orange is that it is a little bit farther from the beach. Uh, not much. I mean, not even like a quarter mile from the edge of the beach. Uh, but most places in Port Orange, you can get to the beach in about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, again, but it's kind of away from all the hubbub of a lot of the, the tourist attractions and whatnot. So it's quieter neighborhood. So what we have behind me here, are kind of our first home on the list right here. It comes in about 195000 it's two bedroom, two bath, 914 square feet. It's in a great neighborhood. Uh, what's so great about this, no HOA area. Um, the neighborhood's quiet. There's somebody mowing in the back background over here, but that's about it. The lot size is fantastic. And again, you're, uh, you're right here, um, right in the heart of Port Orange. Um, not actually, not even more than um, two miles away from the major shopping areas right there on Dunlawton and Nova. So if you're looking for a great home to get into, the Port Orange area, something like this might fit your style. Again, 195,000, two bedroom, two bath, 914 square feet right here in Port Orange. And another quiet neighborhood in the Port Orange area. Um, again, just so wonderful to have this uh, kind of quiet environment. Our second house on the list actually comes in at $375,000. It's a little over 1,500 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath house. You can probably see it behind me as I swivel around here. Um, the, the lot is over 10,000 square feet. So it's a pretty good sized lot right here. Um, not, uh, not busy at all around here. Um, just just wonderful neighborhood um, off the beaten trail, if you will. Um, still close to shopping, still close to all your amenities that you could ever want. Again, it comes in at 375,000. Three bedroom, two bath, little over 15, about 1,549 square feet. The lot itself is at 10,000 square feet. Good sized lot and um, no HOA again. Uh, all these properties we saw today, or, or the properties we are seeing today, uh, no HOA. Um, away from all the noise of Daytona Beach, if you are trying to get away from the noise of Daytona Beach, and uh, just a great spot here in Port Orange. And this is our third house on the list today, right here in Port Orange. It is at $849,000. It's over 4,000 square feet. It's three bedroom, four bath. It is almost a half acre, but it also has water frontage overlooking Rose Bay. Just gorgeous. A little bit farther from all the hubbub of Daytona Beach, a little bit farther from the shopping areas, but I tell you what, beautiful, quiet neighborhood. Just a beautiful spot. Again, comes in at 849,000, almost a half acre, over 4,000 square feet. It's three bed, four bath. Again, overlooking the gorgeous Rose Bay right here in Port Orange.
And don't forget to stop by Ant Catfish right here on the Halifax River. Everything from soups and salads to fried fish and fried shrimp. And don't forget to get a hold of some of their all-you-can-eat cinnamon rolls right here on the Halifax River. It's a great spot to stop here in Port Orange, right off of Dunlawton and right beside the Halifax River. What a beautiful spot. And of course, if you are down in Port Orange, you've got to stop by McKenna's Place, which is one of my personal favorites, but you got to try it for yourself. Today's special, lobster rolls, but you can get multiple things down here, all kinds of different things. Fish dinner, you can get burgers, fries, you can get a salad, whatever it may be, and tons of beer on tap. So highlight pro to Port Orange is McKenna's Place down here in the shopping plaza right off of Dunlawton and Nova. Got to check it out. Thank you. 